What's going on you guys? My name is Hugh and welcome to one of the biggest, most craziest projects yet on this channel. Cue the intro mic! Now this whole project took the course of over three months, so each month was like one part for the car. The first month was in August, and that was the filter. So we're gonna roll those couple of clips right now. <laughs> so we're gonna roll those couple of clips. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna roll those clips right now for you guys. I will say, uh, a couple months now you know in the future that filter sounds beautiful and it wasn't that hard to install i mean yeah it kind of was but you'll see in a minute what the what happened and everything so i'll let mike take us to the past of hugh installing them so the first thing you gotta do is that which actually you know what i think i need to take this out first i mean either way i gotta unplug this and then i gotta take this off well, i could probably start by removing this ah, come on me <laughs> This is malarkey. What is it, glued on there? There we go. Wow, alright, so I'm gonna keep this clamp here, because that will definitely keep that hose from flip flapping around. We finally got it. Look at him, sweaty as heck. I think the only thing left to unplug is this guy right here. This filter's pretty good. Um, I just need to clean it up again because you can kind of see it's a little bit black, but it's still really good. Like, I've only had this for a year. Everything's all hooked up, it's nice and tight. There is a little bit of room for it to move a little bit, which is nice. I left, I did that on purpose, so I left it a little bit of room, but not a lot. Plus this rubber little stub here will help it keep it in place. But this is, this will protect it. And uh, actually, if you can see in the bottom there, I kind of improvise a little bit in there too, because this was supposed to be part of the other filter, the stock one. And I guess this is another source for the thing to go through. But since I have this one in, I covered that up so I didn't want to get any dirt or rubble in there. Same material I used with this. Now, obviously you guys are waiting for the sound. I'm like, there really is much, not much sound to this. This compared to, let me show you guys something. Look at the size of this thing that I pulled out of my car. <laughs> Compare this hefty thing to what I have in there now. Like this thing is heavy. You gotta let it idle for a few minutes so it get used to it. <clears throat> so it get used to it. The next thing I did was went ahead and did the springs, the lowering springs. I was thinking about doing coilovers, but I just did lowering springs. These springs only lowered the car front to back only an inch, just like that much, or the size of my knuckle pretty much. That was it. I didn't want to go any lower than that. I just wanted to get her from sitting so high up to a little bit lower. If you guys are interested in any of these parts that I installed in the car, everything will be in the description below. You can check them out. You can. You know, see if there's any other variations that fit your car, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be just the Veloster, there's other versions of these contents that can fit other cars. I'm done yammering for this part, let's roll those clips, Mike. 
behind the scenes. <laughs> Great, as soon as I start hitting the <laughs> ground. <laughs> Thanks. We're gonna start with the rear. I actually got a buddy of mine today because the front strut brakes. Strut brakes. Strut, strut brakes. <laughs> yeah, the they're brakes. They, yeah, they're called brakes now. The rear ones are easier to work with uh, and then we'll work our way up to the front. The fronts are harder because you need two people, at least two people to hold from the top and then hold the strut, you know, someone has to catch the strut. Because other, other than that, the axle come flying out of the thing and somebody will kill or get killed. I cannot talk today. Now the way you're gonna do it, and I'm not trying to do a tutorial here, I literally learned from other videos how to do it. There is a bolt down here. That bolt right there is what you have to undo. Now the way I'm gonna do this is if I raise the car a little bit and then undo this bolt here. This way when I raise it even more, this will come out of that little suspension port there or whatever that's called. And then this way I can have access to this spring here. So, you can't do this without a jack stand. Learned my lesson last time. It was, I was working on the engine bay and... Oh, were you, were you uh, using the default one that yeah. comes with the car? No! <laughs> Don't use no. the default one, guys. Seriously. That is idea. complete <laughs> Nobody likes that. Nobody likes it. This piece of equipment is major. Major. <laughs> we actually got the first spring on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. That looks beautiful compared to this compared to that which that has was blue the, paint on it yeah well that was, that was part of when we were painting the calipers in the other video that to that if you guys want to try it out for yourself link will be in the description below if you guys are interested your quacking muffler is here <laughs> quacking yeah. oh it's already loose oh, it was already loose yeah so what we had to keep doing was take it off turn it and then put it back on mm -hmm. Get the good angle. Yeah, because this doesn't have a gear in it, so it's like, <laughs> like where's the ratchet? One? At my, oh my hand! <laughs> Where this ratchet? So, <laughs> did you just smack it in the face? No, I smacked it out. Oh, here, wait, wait, wait. Ow, my finger. You might want to move. And it's out. Look how clean this one is compared to that. That is much better. Why, why was that one so bad? It's probably an old bolt that they had it. Maybe. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> like, that's why we need new bolts for this because I think that's why we had a hard time at the other side. Yeah, that's definitely so. why we had a hard time. All right, go ahead. Yep, got it. I slipped off and it comes out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you moron. Wait, hold on. I'm over here, you dingus. Xander, I need you to push on the wheel. <laughs> Where, where are you going? Getting the other spring. I need you to push on the wheel, man, Rod. No. <laughs> no. You can't make <laughs> no. It. Just down. Up. Almost. Hold on. Just keep it down. I'm for crying out loud. Get out of there. Oh, God. oh, you already got it on. I'm still standing on it. But yeah, see these little rubber things on these guys, folks? That's the piece you want to take off and put on the new spring here, which I'll demonstrate here. Yep, there you go. Take that one off. It's easy, just find where it ends, rotate it that way, yep. and it's off. So, I pushed down on this, or he pushed on the wheel, and then I pulled that out, which dropped this to allow the housing for the spring to come out. It's not hard, it's just, it's hard to do it with two, uh, one person, so you might need an extra guy with you. Alright, so what was that, the brakes? Alright, so is this on, Ray? The rubber thing? Yeah, I put it on. <laughs> no, he asked, is this on right? Like, yeah, yes, it's on right. Yeah, I put it on. All right, hold on. Pull it down a little bit more. All right, go up gently. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Why are you popping it out? Am I? Ah. Oh, yep. Is it in? I didn't even need a hammer. Oh. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's see. We got everything tightened up. Ooh. Yeah, remember it only lowers it about an inch, which is fine. So yeah, push down on it a little bit, see if it'll. Yep. I like how it sounds like a squeaky bed. No. Just, no. It definitely does give it a bit more layering. You know, you got some Falcon tires. I do. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with Falcon? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Well, they're fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That was 
<laughs> that was terrible. We got the first strut on, we didn't get it on camera, but we were able to figure it out three hours later. <laughs> pain in the ass. Yeah, oh God, yeah. These struts are a pain in the neck, man. So we're about to show you what it looks like and what, and how we're gonna do, be able to do the other side. I could. Ooh. That's hard to That's tell. right above the thing too. That looks great though. I like Slight it. Slight difference. Oh yeah, look at the back now. Well, the back's gotten a little bit. Oh, dude, that looks so much better. Not bad. All right, let's move on to the other side. Hope we have time I feel today. Like Mega Man. Nerd. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, you want to call me a nerd? No, I thought you dare. <laughs> Oh, that's an actual reel. <laughs> that actually sounded like a voice, didn't it? It did. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good golly. When you guys put these back on, it'll uh, Good job. It'll go back to the position, right? Because it's part of a camber. Yeah, it's part of your camber. Otherwise, your wheel alignment would be screwed up, and you could be riding on part of your wheel more than the other, mm -hmm. and your wheel would wear out a lot more. Right, yeah. He pointed something out with this logo. God damn it! <laughs> What kind of engine do you have? Oh my god, damn it. All right, we got it out, folks. Oh, you already brought him over here. Jesus. This thing is so destroyed. Now, we had a hard time with this. This screw was such a pain to get off, so we had to go down here and get the other one, which is fine. But, oh. but for some reason, this one was we were having a hard time with. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get those clamps on here so that we can compress this as much as possible before we launch that. Obviously, you don't want to launch this without that because it'll fling like a freaking boomerang. It'll come flying around and knock you upside the head, right? Well, you already hit me with it, so yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're on YouTube. Project Betty. Oh, um, do me a favor. There you go, you're on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bye, Ray. Bye. Peace. All right. Yeah. Uh, good gravy, Batman. This thing. Wow, this is heavy. Good night, Irene. So, everything's in, it's all tightened up, now we just gotta put it back, back to where it was. What time is it now, man? Seven and a half hours in the making, it's 9.20. We started this at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock, I don't remember. It's the final reveal, everything's final all reveal. done, man. All right, so that's... Oh, it's just barely out of the way. What do you mean? This guy almost got stuck. Oh, really? Yeah, that would've been hilarious. It's hard to tell, but let me show you a theory here. Nope. Well, there's a little bit of room, but... Well, she's still got to settle, too. Yeah. So it usually takes about 24 hours to settle. But the rear, though... Barely in. Can't yeah. get any further than that. So hopefully, I'll give you an update. Like, maybe tomorrow, give it 24 hours to see what it looks like. All right, so it's been about a day, and it's been about 24 hours. And you can kind of see that the springs have settled a little bit. So you can see that she's lowered just the way I wanted. If you look at it dead on, 
it looks way better because um, it only lowered her to a point where the wheel lip in here, the spacing between the wheel and the wheel guard, it's even now. And it's not too low and the wheel's not going in the guard. It's not, it's, the wheel is still showing. But it looks nice actually because it still shows some space in there. So if you guys want to try these springs out, it, they'll be in the link in the description below. All right, well, moving on to the next thing. So the next couple of clips is me installing the brakes, which is the rotors and brake pads, which the car really needed some new brake pads. Uh, when I was taking the old ones off, man, they were so shredded and rusted out. It was, ugh, it was disgusting to look at. So I figured I'd want to buy a whole kit, you know, the rotors and brake discs. So these parts are from the company called E-Line. They're actually a really, really good company for daily use and also performance use. They make a bunch of different brake designs, I should say. And they are very, very highly reviewed. To me, it's a new company, but I think they've been around for a while. I haven't done like an entire history of them, but this is the first time I'm hearing of them. And so far, these brakes are absolutely amazing. And driving around daily, these brakes have saved my ass, I think a couple of times now. But there's people crossing and then they're not paying attention. I slanted the car just instantly stopped. Now let's go back to the past and let's install those guys, shall we? All right, so I repackaged everything back in the box. Got my dope ass gloves on. So today, as a little bonus clip for you guys today, we are going to be painting these ugly little Hyundai symbols on each of the wheels, the front, back, everywhere. I already got the clear coat and then I got the black, which match, which is what I did when I repainted these. I have plenty left over, so we're going to be using that and that and that for the caps. So let's get to it. You know, it's really funny now that she's so low. <laughs> I, I can't even get the jack stand underneath it, which is hilarious. So I have to use the little guy to kind of get her off the ground a bit. All right, so I got the wheels out now. Now I just need to pop up this little logo here. Looks like you just snap it up. Where, where do you think you're going? What's going on an adventure? Maybe we'll grab some pliers real quick. Don't even think about it. Now we just gotta paint this and uh, that'll be it. Why this one's bubbly for some reason. So I'll just give it a minute to dry and then we'll come back over. We'll do a quick one of this and we should be good. All right, so I gave them about two, about an hour. Looks like they're pretty good. This one I actually had to redo because like you saw when I was painting it, it got a little splotchy. So I took some sandpaper, got over it and then I respray painted it and it looks better. Do one coat of the black and maybe one or two coats of this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to put these back on. I'm not going anywhere tomorrow, so I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then just put the, these two wheels back on the car. That way I can get all four painted and then they can be dried up by the time, well, dried up and cured by tomorrow. So let's go ahead and just get the rest of the wheels on, get the other two, paint them, and then they'll be ready to go by tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. I actually just snapped one of them on and look at that. Not bad. I did one coat of each, one coat of black, one coat of clear coat, and it actually turned out pretty damn well. I actually like the stock wheels, you know? They look aggressive. I don't like little thin six or seven spoke wheels. I like five spoke thick wheels. I don't know why. I know that's just for muscle cars, but I like it, you know? It's just, it just shows a little bit more aggression in the vehicle. This turned out really well, and I, I'm glad I included this little bonus clip in this little episode. Well, now that that's done, let's move on to getting the brakes done. All right, so it's another day, guys, and I finally got all the liquid I need. I got the brake cleaner, the silicone, the copper lubricant, and then this stuff, which is for the screws. So that all said, now we can start working on the brakes, and I got my buddy Xander here already cracking. Oh, why'd you bring yours? I already have one. <laughs> because I can, and I wanted to. Nerd. <laughs> All right, so we got the wheel off. We turn the wheel to the side here. Xander's over there doing his thing. Not dabbing. <laughs> I just smacked yourself in the face. 
So I think what we need to do is we got these two bolts here. Since we got to get this whole thing off to change the rotor. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the big one right here. Because that, what that do, what that do, what that will do. What that mouth do. <laughs> we'll lift this up so you can just push it. Hang on, hang on. What that exhaust pipe do though? <laughs> you sure we know we're doing this right? I think so. Okay. All right, so we got it off. It took us a while, but we got this part off here. We did kind of in kind of a funny way. These brakes are set up kind of strange, so. Look how bad these brakes are, man. No wonder why she's hobbling. Because these brakes are just terrible, man. I mean, it's just shredded, and that's what's causing all these lines on the brakes here. I mean, I think, but- It's because your pads are dirty. I know, but it's rusted out. I might even clean this up too, like spray, you know, put some brake cleaner. You got a wire brush? I do, actually. Here's I have a, a couple wire, brush. wire brushes I can clean this off. This is just, ugh. Oh, I did it. You got it? Wow, that took some force. Let's try it again. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? It's already off. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was just like, did you get it? You gotta push it back now because it's in threads. Or not. Oh. Ooh, yeah, look at that. that There's a lip. That's uh... The coat on it actually gives it an extra protection so it doesn't rust. So with the black coat on it, it prevents it from happening. Whereas this is just straight up steel. Spin as freely as you'd think. No. Well, of course not. It's on an axle dummy. No, no All right. it's not. Where, the where's the axle at? <laughs> Where is the axle? Huh? Don't give me your sass. I'll sass you if I want to sass you. Keep it this is how you brush your teeth. Wait, these aren't teeth. Watch, didn't you want to So, this bitch going here. I hope. I hope. I pray. Ow. <laughs> I'm doing this now because you hurt me. There you go. See if it'll fit now. I got a boo boo. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, stop. Yeah, get a glove here, and I'll show you how to lube it. Yeah, show me how to lube. Stop! <laughs> oh, shit! Are you ready for your procedure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. The prostate exam will begin now. <laughs> Stop, I can't focus. You know what I have to say to that? What was that? <laughs> Professionalism. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go I got, ahead and I got the back one. Alright, so I'm gonna slide this on. I'm now. coming in the rear. I can't find the hole. Grab the thread locker for the bolts up here so it doesn't rattle around. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are finally done. Now, it is currently 12 o'clock in the morning. My buddy Xander left because he had to go to work tomorrow. And I was able to left, finish up that, oh gosh, you can tell how tired I hate to tell you. Now on this side, took me way longer to get done. Don't know why, but I've done some research in the past that for some reason, this whole side of the Velosters, any of them, turbo, non-turbo, whatever, there's always a manufacturer problem on this side of the car. So that's what I've been doing for the past like four hours, was trying to get this one off, the rotor on that one off. And if this ever happens to you guys who have a Veloster and you wanna do rotors, 
Drill that some bitch. That's right, drill it. Those two bolts in there holding them together, one here and one here, drill the crap out of them. I wear it and it came out. That's the moral of the story of what happened there. But I did take my time, I didn't rush it. I made sure it was correct, tight, and on, period. <laughs> And I actually just got her off the jack and I was um, pressing on the brake just to kind of pump the fluid through and oh my god, before with those stock rotors, it was this. You would slam on the brake. Okay, now it works. With these ones, that's it. It's just like instant reaction and I freaking love it. Elon, if you see this video, that's all I gotta say to that. But definitely check them out in the description below. Let me go freshen up, shower. I know it's like 1 or 12 something in the morning. But I do want to give these a... a, 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 a. Let's just go for a drive, okay? Alright, so... So you can see my hand here. Look at that. Oh wow, it's misty out here. What the heck? Here, here's a straightaway so Let's see if this works. Three, two, one. Okay, a lot of noise, but it seems to work okay, I guess. I guess it's okay. I didn't hear any squeaking, so that was good. Let's say someone was coming around, and I wasn't paying attention, and the person shows up right now. Huh? 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 Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm checking the damage here. It actually shaved off most of the black on there when I was doing those runs. Which is fine because like I said, they're going to be used. There's still new rotors, there's still new pads. I'm not complaining about it at all. Some people said, oh, the black is gone. You're using the brakes and that's what's more important. I'm okay with this because the brakes freaking worked. They are very powerful. Way better. I actually even like the chrome better. I probably should have just went with the chrome instead. So now, with all that said, let's go to future. Nah. Let's go. To, uh, let's go to future Hugh for the outro. Bad, 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 whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. There's more parts for this series coming soon. These will take time because, like I said, this is going to be a long process of getting all the parts, everything together. But it makes a, a cooler experience for you guys to watch because you see everything all in one episode instead of me. Instead of like increments, like. Project Raptor was. This is going to be one of the coolest yet biggest projects yet and my dream build for this car. Like I didn't think that this little Veloster, this little four banger would be a dream car to me. I, I The other dream car is a Sylvia but this car is so unique to me that it created a film in my mind and it created a certain like visualization of what this car is going to look and you guys will see in the upcoming episodes what this final project will be. For all you guys who are starting out with your first car build, just have at it, but always find that sweet spot for parts, for that niche, for that special design in that vehicle, whatever it is. That's my advice for new car people. Don't go too crazy right off the bat, just kind of feel it out a little bit. You know, get used to the car and do some research of what other people have done and what you can do to that vehicle that no one else has done before. That is what I have more respect for, is unique ideas, unique dream machines that can just stand out amongst all these other guys who have the same idea. But enough of my yammering, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week and I hope you really enjoyed this first episode. More parts are to come and I will see you goons in episode two.